Hi guys, welcome to the second edition of Photona TV News. Today we will address safety in dental offices. Familiar topic lately, right? Many procedures from the dental field, like caries removal, periodontal root scaling, prostodontic tooth preparations, and many more, are associated with aerosol and splatter formation. Reducing the amount of aerosols to a minimum is important, especially now during the new COVID-19 era. And we have a very good news for you coming from Poland. Dr. Mattis and Dr. Leshniak recently proved that Photona Erbiumiak laser ablative procedures are safer compared to classical instrumentation in regards to aerosol formation. Let's see this study more in depth. The study aimed to evaluate the amount of aerosol generated during standard dental procedures such as caries removal, dental scaling and polishing using either Photona Lightwalker Erbiumiak laser dental burr, ultrasonic scaler, and a tooth polishing device in combination with different suction systems. A three-dimensional mannequin model with natural tooth was used to mimic the everyday working conditions in dental offices. The airborne aerosols were measured at the following selected sampling sites, next to the open mouth of the patient or the mannequin, at mouth position of the dental operator and at mouth position of the dental assistant. In dental offices, particular attention should be paid to eliminating aerosol particle of a size that can be inhaled and held on the human lungs, terminal bronchioles and alveoli. For this reason, measurement of the aerosol particles ranging from 0.3 to 10 micrometers, was assessed with a laser particle counter. And the results. Erbium YAG laser significantly reduced the aerosols during carious removal as compared with classical rotary handpieces. Erbium YAG laser with a classic high volume evacuator generated significantly less aerosols than the high-speed handpiece combined with all tested suction systems during carious removal at the mannequins, operators and assistants' mount levels. With the use of saliva ejector, the differences between Erbiumiac and high or low-speed handpiece were even much higher. Up to six times more aerosols were formed with the classical handpieces at the mannequin compared to with the Erbium Yak laser. For more info and reading, you will also receive a PDF file with all the relevant links. The results of this study are in accordance with the commonly known fact that a significant factor in aerosolization and splatter in a dental practice are water spray and airflow. Most drills utilize a pressurized airflow of 7 to 13 milliliters per minute. On the other hand, Photona dental lasers utilize up to 10 times lower airflow and also significantly less water flow compared to classical restorative instruments. We are happy to report that both the Photona team and Photona laser users are coping very well with the COVID-19 situation, sharing a positive mindset and using common sense. With this in mind, please take care till next time and regards from the dental team. We started to, to see that uh, some articles uh, proved that uh, we had less uh, risks uh, working with, uh, with, uh, with lasers. So uh, it's uh, perhaps uh, a good way of thinking to, to include uh, lasers in our practice because uh, it gives us more security and for um, first of all for us we are trying to um, tell our, all our patients that it's important to go to the dentist and not to avoid it because um, a healthy immune system a good immune system and a healthy mouth healthy teeth are um, yeah the base um, the base of, of health yeah so um, 
We're telling them, please come. We have good protection. You are good protected and you don't have to be afraid.